Hey guys, David here. Today I want to talk about what is acrylamide, where does it come from, how do I avoid it, and how does it affect us. Acrylamide is a neurotoxic chemical found in many industries worldwide. It's also found in cigarette smoke and in food. Now industry-wide, it's found in paper and pulp production, construction, foundry, oil drilling, textiles, cosmetics, food processing, plastics, mining, and agricultural industries. Now when it comes to foods, it's actually created in a chemical reaction in starch-containing foods. Acrylamide is created when you heat food over 120 degrees Celsius or 250 degrees Fahrenheit. Which means any foods that you fry, bake, broil, or roast will create acrylamide if you cook it over 250 degrees Fahrenheit. Now you can bake or roast something at a lower temperature, that's fine. But when it comes to broiling or frying, that's going to create acrylamide if you're cooking foods with starch in it. So avoiding acrylamide is fairly simple. Stop eating french fries, that's the biggest offender. Fried rice, anything fried, anything broiled. Now if you use your crock pot, that's fine, depending on the temperature. And same thing goes with boiling. Boiling is fine because it's just underneath the acrylamide creation temperature. Temperature. Now if you look at some studies done, there is a slight, slight amount of acrylamide that is created in boiling, but it's generally low enough you shouldn't worry about it. Now something to note about acrylamide, the higher the temperature, the more of it is created. So as a general rule, you don't want anything that's over the temperature of boiling water. Now how does acrylamide affect us? It's been shown in numerous studies that acrylamide is carcinogenic, as in it causes cancer. It's been linked to bowel, bladder, and kidney cancer. For those of you who haven't heard of acrylamide, I'm sorry to be the bringer of bad news, but eating fried food is linked to cancer. You should cut out your french fries, fried rice, anything fried. I hope this information was helpful and informative to you guys. So until the next episode guys, remember good health changes everything.